Hello beautiful people, welcome to or back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing my van life wardrobe. Living in a van in such a small space really makes you kind of micromanage and pay extra attention to every article of clothing you're buying and bringing into your space. So everything I buy, I have this thought process that goes on before I buy it and if I keep it too because I only have one big drawer and that houses my entire wardrobe. It has to be practical, it has to be versatile, I have to be able to wear it in different types of weather. It can't be too thick or take up too much room. You you have to be able to kind of mix and match. Sometimes I'm in the city and I want to wear something kind of cute and then I'm in nature and I want to be really comfortable and practical and go on hikes. Yesterday I cleaned out my entire first drawer and I like folded everything really nice and I was like this is the time. So now I'm here filming this video. So let's start with accessories. I'll show what I'm wearing right now. I have these big hoops. I just got these and then these baby hoops. I actually think these are intertwined. How are they intertwined? And then a bunch of studs up top. I find that jewelry is really important because I have a lot of basic clothes. And so having big statements of jewelry helps when I'm in a city and I wanna look fancy. I can just wear the basic clothes I would wear in nature that are really comfortable and soft, but not super fancy and then I can wear these and it's like oh I don't live in a van no one would ever know I also have this ring I love how simple this one is and then this little hoop thing is not a piercing it's actually just like a little hoop that you put in your ear and it um it doesn't clamp it just kind of stays in so the brand for the hoops this little hoop right here and the ring are all anna luisa jewelry i'm a big fan of gold jewelry right now like my necklaces are also gold and kind of simple but they're from a different brand and this brand's a little more big and not sustainable but I've been super into sustainable shopping recently. Actually, one of my goals for this next year is to not buy anything that is fast fashion as much as possible. I want to transition all my gold jewelry to Ana Luisa because it's just sustainable. They offset 100% of their carbon emissions. And if you go on their site, they just have a whole section about how they use recycled materials and their efforts towards sustainability, which I really have been appreciating a lot in a brand. And I I think the more and more we support these brands, the more other brand brands will jump on the bad bandwagon and we'll be able to have like all the fashion supplies we want that are also more ethical and better for our environment. Their jewelry is about $39 and then there's some higher end pieces also so you can kind of pick and choose whatever fits your price range and right now they're having a buy one get one 40% off plus there's other benefits so I'm going to leave a link down in the description if you want to check out Ana Luisa jewelry. Okay and now for my other jewelry. This second hoop right here it kind of has a cool pattern and I got this when I was in Indonesia So I love getting jewelry when I'm traveling from little markets and stuff for me It just like reminds me of the place and the experience So and then in this little pouch, which I keep in my front section I just have a bunch of other little jewelry pieces some of a lot of them I actually made like this one. I actually don't really wear this one I've n I haven't worn this in the last year but I did make this one. I used to sell jewelry. That's like, oh, it's tangled. But that's one of the ways I saved up for the van. I was working a full-time job, but I was simultaneously making and selling jewelry. So this is one of the ones I made. And it has this really beautiful synthetic opal. So it's not real opal. Opal is one of my favorite stones, but it's pretty expensive. And then it has a little twist, so... Yeah, I like that one. I have these earrings, and again, they're kind of similar style to these Ana Luisa ones because they're just big and gold, and I just like that statement because right now I'm wearing like this black crop top, and it's super simple, but then you just wear this, and it kind of looks like you have your shit together. So these are really nice. I got them at a thrift store in San Francisco, and they're not... Oh, no. This one's broken. So, yeah. They're not as good quality as Ana Luisa, which I've been opting for quality rather than this stuff, but that's so sad. 
And then I have this little pouch with a bunch of rings. I love rings. Like, I always wear rings. I don't know if you guys notice. This one I got at Yosemite National Park. I actually got a super good deal on it because it, it was made by indigenous people. And it's, like, re a really nice turquoise. So, But I'm definitely more of a gold person than a silver person. That's why I don't wear that one very much. Okay, and then this one. Oh, I'm excited to show you guys this one. This one I made myself. So, like I said, I made my own jewelry for a while, and this is one of the pieces I made. This is actually one of the only pieces I made soldering. So I actually cut sheets of metal, used flux, and heat to solder the pieces of metal together. And the stone is black onyx. I just wish it was gold, because I like it, it's just sober and i'm not the biggest silver person but okay i'm not really going to show you guys the rest of the story because i just have ridiculous stuff honestly that i don't really i don't really wear the rest of this stuff now let's move on to actual clothes i'm gonna bring you guys over here lower you down this wardrobe is also my seat as you can tell so this wooden plank slides back and forth so i can access all the clothes but i'm also using really i actually don't know the exact ratings for these drawer guides but two people can easily sit on this and it won't break so to give you guys an idea of how i organize all of this i have swimsuits in here i have comfy bigger shirts and t-shirts and loungewear in this bucket I have my jackets here. I have three different jackets. This is a little bag I use. I actually sewed it myself. It used to be a t-shirt. It says vegan vibes on it. And then I just use this for dirty laundry now. So I didn't really love the t-shirt. I made it into a bag and now whenever my clothes are dirty, I just put it in this bag and keep it in the same drawer. And then when I go to a laundromat, I wash everything and then I wash this bag too. And then I also have pillowcases down here. This is a microfiber towel. And if you live in a van or you're like outdoorsy and going on a lot of different adventures, I really recommend this towel because it folds up so small. Like if you can see and you can fit it in a bag if you're going to the beach. Having towels is really bulky. So having something so thin and not taking up a lot of space in my drawer is super great and then back here i have jean shorts and i have like a little jumpsuit i have all my crop tops and kind of fancier city clothes but my crop tops are also really soft so i wear them in nature too and then i have leggings this is bras and underwear and sports bras this is comfy shorts or no comfy pants and then all my jeans also, I've been sleeping in that sleeping bag back there because it's been a little cold. I mean, I'm wearing a crop top now, so it's not that cold, but at night it gets a little cold. And there are so many benefits to sleeping in that sleeping bag, but I feel like the best one is I don't even have to make the bed. It's just always made. And then I just have the little sleeping bag on there, so. So my first top is this fancy one. We're starting off with a fancy one. And it's this beautiful lace shirt that has this ruching i don't know if that's even what it's called i feel like i'm it's too fancy for me to even know that word ruching so lace and ruching and i just love the cream color i'm loving the light colors recently and i actually sewed this so in the back it was just a little baggy on me and so it wasn't super flattering but i loved the style of it so i just sewed this stuff in the back that way i could tie these two pieces and it just kind of cinched everything in and then i sewed it up here this i got from my friend emery she was giving away like trash bags full of clothes while well, she was going to donate and sell them so i just bought some from her and i think i bought this for like four dollars off of her and i think that's a great way to sustainably shop is clothing swaps with your friends at the end of a season or when you guys are ready or maybe every single month or every two months you can all maybe get together and swap clothes which is really great but i saw on the tag it said banana republic so this next top is so cute this is like my staple top i feel like you guys always see me wearing this it's just a black crop top and it's very similar to the one i'm wearing now this is the one i'm wearing now it's just i like the cut of it this one is super comfortable these two are my favorite just simple black crop tops and this one's from brandy melville but 
not a sustainable shop so like you could always look at thrift stores for a basic black tea like this i think this one's also from brandy Melville. yeah so this one's just a white top it's a little looser and again i always go for the basic colors because i can just match it with everything i literally can't think of a single pant in my wardrobe that this wouldn't go with again this is just another very simple minimal black top the reason why i like this one is because it's extremely soft and even though it's very simple it has all these different textures on the shirt which kind of make it a little fun and I don't know different the brand is Victoria's Secret but I got this at a thrift store in California and then this top was Taylor's so again she was just giving away clothes and I was like oh can I look at them and came and got this one so I really like that these straps are super thin this one is not as comfortable I would not feel good sleeping in this the reason why I kept it is just because I think it's really unique the good thing about crop tops like this is they fold up so small like you can literally fold it up this small so this is by far my favorite find of the year my favorite find i just think it's so unique i feel like pocahontas in it the material is such a beautiful soft velvet it looks handmade i have no clue where it's from i think i truly think someone made it i don't think that it's from like a store and the back is just so beautiful as well the whole cr crisscross of it and then i love this detailing in the front this little stone piece and these lava stones there's this copper paint detailing in this v and just all these different textures i just think this is such a stunning shirt i got this one at a thrift store in california this crop top I actually don't know where I got this one. I got it a really long time ago. So I've had this for a really long time. Like a lot of these clothes I've had for four, five, six years. It's always these staples that I just keep for so long. Okay, this shirt, I actually think I'm going to get rid of maybe. I don't know. I'm going back and forth between it. It's Brandy Melville. And it's this beautiful low cut um, shirt. The thing is, is I just don't wear it super often. I've worn it like three times in the last year. If I don't wear something like once a week or at least once a month, that's kind of when I'm ready to donate it. I have one pair of long leggings from Lululemon. I've had this for literally like five or six years. So next I have a black pair of leggings that are just shorts. And these are from Aloe Yoga which I think would be like the sustainable version of Lululemon maybe. This next pair of leggings is this beautiful like peach pink color. I got this from a brand called Indigo Luna. So first I have these white shorts. These I got from Emery, but these were a little big on me. So what I do when shorts or jeans are too big or any pants for that matter, but specifically jeans, is I cinch it in the back. So you see here, I actually washed it and the Sharpie marks um, bled, but that's fine. I'll just bleach it and it'll go away. But I put the shorts on inside out. I cinch the excess fabric. And then since it's inside out, I can draw a sh Sharpie mark where I need to, where it's excess. And then I just sew it. And so now the inside has this so mark and these this messy sharpie mark like this and it just fits so perfect now so yeah i love these and then these shorts i got at a thrift store they were a little big they were or not big they were long and so i just cut them to the length that i wanted this jean short i've had for seriously probably five or six years now i got this at a thrift store in austin texas and um i don't know i just can't can never get rid of them i can't they're so cute this is a romper i've had this for a few years too um okay i got this one at paxun i don't know the quality is really good it's held up really nice over the years i think you can wear it with a lot of different things and then these are a pair of levi's i got it urban outfitters several years ago and then i got this paint mark on it 
and I kind of just designated it as my painting messy jean after that. So I use this to dig crystals because a lot a lot of the times when I'm digging crystals it's on really hard granite so it's nice to have an additional like jean layer to protect. So as you can see it's super dirty literally the dirt is like ingrained in the jean. Okay this is the biggest bin and it has all of my pants. So I have three jean pants and three comfy pants. For jeans, I have this long pair of Levi's. I got this pair of jeans from Emory. They were a little too big, so again, I did the cutting and stitching trick, which is why it looks a little weird in the back, but it actually is like really flattering now. Like the size is really flattering, even though I kind of sewed it a little weird, so it has a wrinkle in the butt. But I'm honestly fine with that. I don't really mind that much about the wrinkle. And then I have these pair of jeans. And I actually forgot the name of this brand. Let's see. Subdued. It's like a European brand. I got this a few years ago. I'm not sure if the brand is sustainable. Um, but it has these nice rips. And it is so comfortable and stretchy and flattering. And great material. And yeah, this is just like such a great staple jean. This jean I got at a thrift store. And then again, I did this stitching trick in the back. Okay, these are my favorite. This is what I wear all the time. I'm sure you guys have seen it in a lot of videos. These comfy pants. They are so comfortable. They are so like flattering. You can wear, I wear them as pajamas, but you can also wear them out and about. It makes me want to do yoga and headstands and meditate. Like it makes me feel like a monk, which I really like. I got this at a random thrift store in Berkeley. It wasn't actually even a thrift store. It was right by a thrift store. And it was one of those Indian shops that had, it like smelled like incense. It had a bunch of these really bright, colorful yogi pants. And then hidden in a corner were these like beautiful, earthy toned, um, like perfectly sized, comfortable pants. So yeah, I got this pair and then I got another pair in the exact same style, but it's just this green color. And then this I've had for years. It's another really soft pant. This is from Free People. So yeah, again, like really soft and comfy. This pair of pants has holes in them because I had a mouse invasion. And that mouse decided to chew on a few of my articles of clothing and this was one of them, but I'm still gonna keep it and I'll probably patch it up soon, but here, I'll show you. Do you see that? Let's see? Okay, I have bundled up, it's very cold, and I will show you guys the last bin and then my jackets, which I'm wearing two of them. So I'll just show you the two I'm wearing right now. I have this jean jacket I got at a thrift store in Texas and I've had this for a few years. The quality is really good. I don't know if I'd recommend having it for living in a van depending how much space you have because it doesn't do much. Like, jean jackets don't really keep you very warm. So, yeah, I don't know, but they are cute and they're great for layering. If you can get some jumper underneath it, then it'll keep you a little more warm. Underneath it I have this Adidas jumper and it's gray. This is pretty cozy. It's a crop though So whenever you have a crop jumper and it's pretty chilly outside I don't know. It's just like more air getting into your stomach area Okay, this is the last jumper. I got this at a thrift store in Berkeley, California So this jumper is a really nice white color and then it has these blotches almost like tie-dye of blue I have three of these shirts that are indie brand clothing shirts, and they're extremely soft. I use them to hike a lot. These are my go-to hiking shirts, and they are like rocker, punk rock theme, like a band tee, except it has national park names on it, which I think is so cool. So this is my Yosemite one. I also have Joshua Tree, and they're so soft. The Joshua Tree shirt, as you can see, also got nibbled by the mouse. 
So I'm hoping that it just fits the aesthetic and it's kind of like, oh, it's one of those rocker tees that has holes in it. No? I don't think it really works because there's not holes everywhere. It's just like this one random mouse nibble. And then this is the only like oversized big shirt I have at the moment. I do want to get another one. This one I've had for a couple years as well. It's from Forever 21, which is surprising. Like, I, they're usually not good quality or so soft. So this shirt, again, is very soft and flowy, very comfortable, and it's from a juice store. <laughs> so in Austin, Texas, if you guys live in the area, there's a place called Juice Land. And I used to babysit this little boy, and I would take him to Juice Land all the time, and we'd get smoothies. And then they came out with this these series of crop tops, these little shirts. And I loved the color. I loved how flowy and soft it was, so I ended up getting one. And it just has a bunch of vegetables, but I like how the decal of the vegetables are like very minimalistic and muted, and it's like the ultimate vegan shirt. It's so cute. <laughs> And then this last one is again a friend's old shirt. I'm really loving doing this. I have friends that have similar styles to me, so cool. That is all my clothes. Literally every article of clothing I own except for socks and stuff. And then the only other things I really have are shoes in terms of wardrobe. And for shoes, I only have five pairs I think. So I have Birkenstocks and those I use when I'm kind of in the city or I'm visiting a friend and I'm going in and out of the van to their house. I have my tennis shoes which I use only to work out and run basically. I never really wear tennis shoes other than that. I have my hiking boots. I've had these hiking boots for quite a while. They're the brand Solomon. I went backpacking on like a 12 day backpacking, my first backpacking trip in these boots. And then I have some high top Birkenstocks. These are vegan, so Birkenstocks does have vegan alternatives. So if you are interested in buying Birkenstocks, I'd highly recommend getting the vegan alternative to the leather. This next shoe is my shoe of choice. If there could be like a shoe award of the year, I would give it to this shoe. It is Tevas, the black sandals. The reason why I love these shoes is because they are literally so versatile. I like them more than Birkenstocks because they're just as comfortable as Birkenstocks, but Birkenstocks have this corking, and if you live in a city, I don't think the corking will degrade as much, but since I'm in nature so often, and in sandy spots and dry areas, I feel like my Birkenstocks just, it looks like I've had them for five years and I've only had them for like one. The other reason why I love Tevas is I hike in them often. They are great hiking shoes, honestly, for those smaller to medium sized hikes. And the reason why I like them for hikes is because if you're ever having to cross any stream or waterway, it's so perfect. Of course, I like going barefoot as well, but sometimes it's really nice to have Tevas, especially if they're small pebbles. It kind of hurts my toes. All right, so that wraps up my wardrobe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. To sum it up, I basically try to buy clothes that are basic colors and that are compatible with the rest of my wardrobe. I try to buy high quality things so that I don't have to replace it as often. And if it's not high quality, and it's just kind of a fashion piece. I try to buy from friends or do clothing swap with swaps with friends or to buy at thrift stores. I'm making a big effort to shop more sustainably this year and I think we all should for the planet and for local businesses and we can help each other on this journey. So I went to my Instagram and I asked everybody to recommend me their favorite sustainable brands. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that down in the description box below. If there are any sustainable brands you enjoy then leave them in the comments down below and we can all kind of help each other on this journey. I will also leave um, the Anna Luisa link down below too and remember they're having that sale with buy one get one 40% off so um if you're looking for some new gold jewelry I highly recommend this jewelry it's so cute anyways thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video bye I love you oh there's a plane I love these earrings they're so cute I will Simon uh so next I have a black of pear 
a black of pear. 